Engine knock, also referred to as pinging or detonation, is a common drivability concern that often arises during acceleration or under load. It typically indicates an issue with how combustion is occurring inside the engine cylinders. If left unresolved, engine knock can lead to reduced performance, poor fuel economy, and in severe cases, internal engine damage. Diagnosing engine knock requires a methodical approach that considers the vehicle's fuel system, ignition system, engine management, and even mechanical condition. This guide provides a comprehensive framework for identifying, diagnosing, and resolving engine knock, particularly during acceleration. Engine knock is an abnormal combustion event where the air-fuel mixture inside the combustion chamber detonates prematurely or unevenly. Instead of a smooth burn initiated by the spark plug, part of the fuel charge ignites spontaneously due to high pressure and temperature generating shock waves. These shock waves create a distinct metallic pinging or knocking sound that is typically most noticeable under load, during acceleration, or when the engine is operating at high temperature. This phenomenon can be caused by a variety of factors, including incorrect ignition timing, poor fuel quality, or issues with engine sensors. The causes of engine knock can be grouped into several categories. Combustion-related issues, such as a lean air-fuel mixture or excessive compression, are common causes. A lean mixture burns hotter and can lead to pre-ignition or knock, especially under load. Carbon buildup in the combustion chamber can also increase compression and create hot spots, both of which promote knocking. These conditions can be diagnosed using fuel trim data, air-fuel ratio readings, compression tests, and visual inspection with a borescope. Fuel quality plays a significant role. Using a lower octane fuel than the manufacturer recommends is a very common cause of knock. Lower octane fuels are less resistant to auto ignition under pressure, especially during acceleration. Fuel contamination or the use of inappropriate ethanol blends can also affect combustion. To verify fuel-related causes, check the owner's manual for fuel requirements, test fuel samples, and observe whether symptoms change with the switch to higher quality or higher octane fuel. Ignition system problems such as incorrect timing, worn spark plugs, or faulty ignition coils can lead to knock by causing the air-fuel mixture to ignite too early or too erratically. These components can be tested using a scan tool to monitor ignition timing, inspecting spark plugs for signs of wear or detonation damage, and testing coil operation using a scope or swap test. Timing-related and ECU-related issues can also play a major role. For example, an overly aggressive timing map, especially in vehicles with aftermarket tuning, can lead to knock. Additionally, if the knock sensor is faulty or unable to communicate with the ECU, the engine control module may not respond appropriately to knock events. Reviewing ECU data, checking for stored trouble codes, and using diagnostic software to analyze timing values are key steps in this category. Sensor or actuator malfunctions, particularly involving the MAF, mass airflow, MAP, manifold absolute pressure, or ECT, engine coolant temperature sensors, can lead to incorrect air fuel calculations. If these sensors report inaccurate data, the ECU may lean out the mixture or advance timing too aggressively. These sensors should be tested by comparing live data to known good values and verifying wiring integrity. Lastly, mechanical issues like carbon buildup, low compression, or EGR system failures can also contribute. Carbon buildup creates pre-ignition conditions, especially in gasoline direct injection engines. A stuck or non-functioning EGR valve can prevent proper exhaust gas recirculation, increasing combustion chamber temperatures. These conditions are generally diagnosed through visual inspection, compression and leak down testing, and monitoring engine performance under load. Diagnosing engine knock starts with confirming the presence and behavior of the sound. Listen for a knock under acceleration using a mechanic's stethoscope or chassis ears. Next, connect a scan tool to retrieve any stored diagnostic trouble codes, or DTCs. Pay close attention to codes related to the knock sensor, air-fuel ratio, and misfires. Evaluate ignition timing data to ensure the spark occurs at the correct moment relative to piston position. Check the fuel trims, short and long-term, to identify if the engine is running lean. 
High positive trims may indicate a vacuum leak or fuel delivery issue. Verify the fuel grade being used by the owner. Many knock issues are caused by using regular fuel in an engine designed for premium. Spark plugs should be inspected for improper gap, damage, or carbon fouling. Ignition coils can be tested via scope or by swapping known good units. Sensor values such as MAF, MAIP, intake air temp sensor, and ECT should be evaluated using live data. Any anomalies here could point to faulty readings causing improper combustion control. A fuel pressure test should also be performed, especially if knock only occurs under wide open throttle conditions. Finally, conduct a mechanical inspection using a bore scope or compression test to evaluate for carbon buildup, valve issues, or wear. To streamline the diagnosis, ask the vehicle owner key questions. What fuel grade is being used and has it changed recently? Is the check engine light on and what codes are present? Has the engine been modified or tuned? When were the spark plugs last replaced? Are there any symptoms of misfire, hesitation, or poor performance? Has maintenance been performed on schedule, particularly oil and air filter changes? Has there been a recent drop in fuel economy or throttle response? Is the knock only during acceleration or does it occur at idle or cruise? Is the engine GDI? And finally, what is the oil condition and level? To simplify decision-making, here's a summary of common symptoms and causes. Knock under full throttle often points to low octane fuel. Confirm with the owner and use higher grade fuel. If knock is present with no codes, suspect overly advanced timing and review ignition mapping. Lean fuel trims indicate possible vacuum leaks or MMAF sensor issues. Perform a smoke test and check sensor data. If knock started after an ECU tune, poor mapping may be the issue. Revert to stock or correct the tune. EGR-related knock often comes with DTCs. Inspect and clean or replace the valve. If misfires accompany knock, the cause may be spark plugs or ignition coils. Knock that worsens with engine heat may be due to carbon buildup. Perform a top-end cleaning. If low compression is found, mechanical repairs may be necessary. Preventing engine knock starts with using the right fuel. Always adhere to the manufacturer's recommended octane rating and avoid off-brand or old gasoline. For tuned vehicles, ensure the tune matches the fuel grade being used. Routine maintenance is essential. Replace spark plugs at the correct intervals and clean MAF sensors, fuel injectors, and intake valves, especially in GDI engines. Periodic use of high-quality fuel additives can help prevent carbon buildup. Driving behavior also matters. Avoid lugging the engine by keeping RPM appropriate for the load, and don't push the engine hard when it's hot or under heavy load unless necessary.